Usually when it nears fight time, the odds start to shorten a bit. You start to give the underdog more of a chance, but I have to just give myself a little pat on the back because the nearer the fight got between Alexander Usak, still undisputed cruiserweight champion of the world, and Tony Bellew, I was leaning more towards a stoppage for the Ukrainian in the later rounds. It came in round eight. Is that late? Late-ish. After a tricky fight where it took a while for him, you could almost say to really start participating, to start being the Usek we know. Uh, but once he started to, I think, have his first real good round, which was round seven, Bellew seemed to just get a dispirited look. And one of the main factors which I thought was going to decide the fight, fitness, just seemed to take place really, really suddenly out of nowhere. And Bellew, with a bit of a mouse developing on the left cheekbone from the right jab, he just started to think, right, <clears throat> I can't draw him onto the counters as well now. I'm not going to go forward because that's not my game. And he was stuck in that quandary that I thought he would be, of Usek being too disciplined to walk into something stupid, kept him on the end of his punches, and Bellew was stuck between a rock and a hard place. And then once he tired, once that fitness differential paid dividends, he was just at the end of Usek's punches. And the punch that finished him, you could say looked like a, it looked like a bit of a cuffing one, but he was already stiffened from a couple of left-hand shots. He took the penultimate one, and his legs just went like a man who was suddenly wearing iron boots, and then Usek with a nice little clip, and he was easily done. At the beginning of the fight, Bellew did very well. I was fighting with the stream, as, as a lot of other people would have been doing, trying to get it going, so I only ever, th I think, saw maybe 60% of the fight. But Bellew was doing well to begin with. He was using his very good feet, his underrated feet. He was taking walks in different directions. He wasn't predictable with his movement. And Usek, with not wanting to overcommit himself, was a bit out of range. And Bellew was actually getting through with some nice single right hands to the body and to the head that may have edged those first few rounds. Again, as I say, it didn't really look like Usek had really participated at that point. But Bellew was doing well. He looked like he was being a real pest in there. It turned into a chess match and not at the highest pace. So you could see Bellew shading the rounds. And, and Usek was a little bit hesitant, too hesitant for too long, I thought. But against the likes of uh, the Polish guy, uh, Glowacki, is it? I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing his name right. I remember he had some off periods there, but then when it mattered, he just knows how to turn it on. And he never looked flustered or too uh, worried Usek, and as soon as he just got that first good round under his belt, first real clear one in the seventh, that familiar smile came over his face, and I thought he looked like he, ju he just knew he'd really got hold of the fight by the scruff, and Bellew, his face had changed, he looked like he knew it, and it was all over. You can only give Bellew credit, um, he, he did well, he was looking for the counters, he was being tricky, he was conjuring up all that experience he's got and those underrated skills to make... Usek raise an eyebrow and not be completely sure how to go about his work. But again, Bellew, I don't think reducing the weight down to cruise weight from heavy would have sapped the stamina too much. It looked like he did this well. Was it the first time we actually saw Tony Bellew's abs on the way in? So I think he was in very good condition. But nonetheless, just naturally not as good an engine. And that's a problem when you've got a guy who's more skillful than you, than, uh, than you as well. And, and Usek just made it all happen, didn't he? A lot of people have never been the biggest fan of Tony Bellew. I know sometimes he's a bit of a, a hypocrite at times. He has been loud mouth, but boxing isn't a personality contest. And regardless of the fact the man who won tonight, we know Usek, fantastic, defended that undisputed title for the first time. We know he's going up to heavyweight. Who knows? Will he fight Joshua? There's great possibilities there. But you have to give the last word for Bellew. He really was willing to fight anybody. Very respectful and cordial at the end. Very different to his rough beginnings. And no matter, he says he wants to eat pizza and go into the pub these days. But if you ever see him in the pub, you have to give him ultimate respect. Because ultimately he did what many fighters aren't willing to do. And at the end of his career, he was willing to go for absolute glory and fight one of the absolute best. So kudos to Tony Bellion.